I always want to play this clip to just draw people's attention. I believe there are four factories where Kellogg's workers are striking across the country. One of them is in Michigan. I can't remember off the top of my head where the other three uh, are. Maybe somebody can look that up for us. Yeah. But let's play this uh, clip of, um, we're not going to play the whole thing. This is from uh, Saturday of this week. Last, last week. Th this past Saturday. Um, it's a video from More Perfect Union of some of the Kellogg factory workers. We feed all these families, but I can't feed mine. You know, best friend died. Yeah, sorry, not my problem. That's yours. We got cereal to make. We work seven days a week. We are literally scheduled seven days a week. For any time that someone would feel sick or whatever, they want you to use your vacation days as opposed to having sick days. And again, in working excess of 120 days in a row. 400 million dollars in profit on cereal alone is not something you can walk in and tell us we're going to give you less for. If you don't be here, you get a point. If you get a point, you can get suspended. You know what I mean? So we got no choice. You have to be here. But it's just killing us. You know, you can't even now go in there and tell them that your aunt passed away and you need a day off to tell you to call in or use a vacation day. So in order for me to get a day off, someone else is working 16 hours. Very often, we don't even know that we have to work 16 hours until 10 minutes before it's time to go home. If you have dogs, if you have kids you have to pick up from school, if you have other obligations, I hope you have somebody to call because you have to stay. They could tell me at 10.45, Heather, you're forced over, you have to stay. So then I'll work that next shift. At 6.30 a.m., I can go home. But then my regularly scheduled shift is starts at 2.30 the next day. So there's eight hours off in between and that's, uh, that according to them is plenty. All right, um, um, you know, they cost a living. You guys can see the full video at More Perfect Union. They've been doing a great job covering a lot of these. We'll put a link to that, too, in our YouTube and uh, podcast description. But the, uh, the strikers are striking in Omaha, Nebraska, Battle Creek, Michigan. Those are the folks from there. That's where the headquarters of Kellogg uh, is as well. A, Kel a Kellogg company is as well. Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and Memphis, Tennessee. So if you're in one of those uh, cities... Head down, support the the strikers. I don't know. Go down there, bring them a pizza. Honk. I wonder now that uh, Tucker Carlson has this labor desk, if he's going to be covering this at all, or if he, if uh, they'd have to make this about mask mandates to get some. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. But fourteen hundred workers. That's uh, significant, and um, it, the Kellogg employs thirty one thousand uh, people globally, but. Um, in the United States, I imagine that makes a significant, significant dent. So it's um, solidarity, as we say. Go bring them a pizza.